Hello everyone. My name is Kun Ho Lee. I am a doctoral professor of neurology department of neurology, Bangkok University. I am specializing in dementia and aging science. It is a great honor to have an opportunity to present my research in this conference. Today, I will brief you on my research about the effects of virtual reality exercise program made up of V on balanced function of elderly living alone with a high fall risk. Falling and the fear of falling causes discomfort, depression, and poor quality of life, which bring about a great disability for the elderly. This is a very worrying matter, given that falls occur in about 30% of the elderly and are the main cause of hospitalization in this age group population. In elderly population, as the age increases, the proprioception, visual, and vestibular functions involved in postural control are degraded and muscle strength is weakened and the reflexible ability to cope with sudden changes in motion is reduced, resulting in an easy fall. It is estimated that the number of elderly who is living alone will increase steadily. The elderly living alone are more susceptible to social, economic, physical, and mental difficulties than the elderly living with their family or others. Other domestic studies have shown that 33% of elderly people living alone reported loneliness, which was linked to, to cognitive decline, depression, and eventually frequent falls. Therefore, the elderly living alone are classified as a high-risk group of frequent falls. So various cognitive and social activities are needed to prevent them. Exercise therapy to prevent and treat equilibrium disorders and falls includes motor therapy that strengthens the postural stability of proximal muscles and physical therapy that applies regulated operative exercise. However, Performing this physical treatment always requires continuous and professional guidance from physical therapists. In addition, there are many restrictions on practice due to lack of motivation on account of fatigue and depression, which are chronic mental problems of elderly patients living alone, and many give up halfway. Therefore, it is necessary to develop an exercise therapy program in which patients can easily follow without losing interest, relatively free from special and cost issues. Recently, virtual reality-based interventions where an activity can be performed in a virtual reality setting as in reality have been applied in rehabilitation treatment to solve psychosocial problems such as depression, deteriorated quality of life. Virtual reality allows interaction with a virtual environment in a three-dimensional space via physical sensations, response, and behavior and cognition. A VR program is able to provide joy and comfort to the receivers of rehabilitation as it includes gamers meant for leisure, the result of which may be a positive psychosocial change. Comprised of a computer simulation environment and interactive video game functions, the virtual reality reinforcement movement inspires competition and induces motivation and interest among gamers. It has been reported that participation in exercise therapy 
using virtual reality increases the frequency and intensity of exercise and improves health when compared to traditional exercise. Despite these advantages, however, due to several limitations such as high cost and huge size, the existing virtual reality system could not be widely applied to patients in clinical care, virtual reality exercise program that can be easily followed in the patient's personal space or at home is needed. Nintendo Wii, which is a commercially available personal game, is becoming interested in being able to be used easily in such exercise training. Wii is a video game console with a simple usage direction because a virtual reality system is realized through a television monitor. It combines motion in space with computer simulation graphics and interactive video game functions. The Wii console is cheap and small in size, making it easy to install or move in care centers or homes. The gaming console is made to use a wireless, wireless controller to apply a movement detection system so that users can interact with their avatars displayed on the screen. The controller is equipped with an acceleration sensor that detects changes in direction and speed and responds to changes in acceleration. The controller is equipped with an acceleration sensor that detects changes in direction and speed and responds to changes in acceleration. Since we is a representative example of a simple, inexpensive, and easily accessible virtual reality facility, we is expected to arouse the interest of patients who increase the therapeutic effect by putting more effort into exercise through games. A recent study report on the effectiveness of a virtual reality exercise program using V in patients with equilibrium disorders, a virtual reality exercise therapy was effective in improving patients' quality of life by having 20 patients with degenerative brain disease play Wii games three times a week for four weeks and observing their tendency to improve physical activity, motor skills, and depression than before the start. A few studies conducted in South Korea, a virtual reality program was applied two or three times a week for a total of six weeks in dementia patients admitted to a facility or hospital, and the results showed a significant improvement in depressive symptoms, cognitive function, and daily activities after the experiment. However, the subjects in three of these studies were dementia patients limited to a care facility or hospital, who had not been categorized based on risk of war, so it was difficult to determine the therapeutic effect according to the level of balancing abilities. The experiments which applied virtual reality exercise programs to patients with Parkinson's disease for eight weeks showed statistically significant differences than before in bulk balancing and functional stretching tests, one leg stand up test, wake up and go test, and lower leg muscle power tests after training. But this was not a quantitative test using a dynamic posture meter as in this study because it used the subjective scale and different subjects. However, the controlled studies, few controlled studies have been conducted on the impact of V on the lonely elderly who often fall. In addition, few studies have evaluated using 
quantitative mean of measurement, such as posture graphy. This study aimed to quantitatively analyze the effect of virtual reality practice program based on V on balance function within them using the computerized dynamic posturography. All study subjects were recruited using the criteria that they must be 65 years of age or older, living alone, and have a self-reported balance deficit or history of a fall for the past year prior to assessment. A fall was defined as an abrupt unexpected event in which he or she comes to rest on the ground or floors. Further inclusion criteria encompassed being ambulant and moving independently, absence of cognitive impairment over the 24 points, and capable of understanding and following simple instruction. The false efficacy scale interrational was administered to determine the participant's subjective fear of falling with respect to activities of daily living. People with chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, arthritis, osteoporosis had to get permission to exercise. Chronic renal failure, uncontrolled diabetes, liver failure, metabolic diseases that may affect the cognitive function, history of drinking, three or more glasses of alcoholic drinks per day, and history of stroke was excluded from the study. Experimental group, total 30 persons, and control group, total 30 persons, were randomly assigned to conduct the study. In the case of control group, patients with similar conditions to the experimental group were placed in terms of age, duration of disease, severity of symptoms, and exercise habits. The experimental group conducted a total of 20 weeks of V balance training three times a week for 40 minutes. The control group did not join in any exercise program other than conventional recreational therapy. All participants submitted written and interned consent prior to the evaluation and started the program. Nintendo Wii is a game created by the Japanese company Nintendo. It is a device with the function of movement recognition, which can be connected to the TV and operated using a remote controller. The game involves virtual reality interaction, while being simple and easy to play so that individuals of all ages can enjoy using it. The main unit set comprises a remote controller plus a nunchuck and an AC adapter, exclusive for use with V, while the sensor bar installed above the screen computerizes the kinetic data of the user movement measured through the remote controller. The V balance board includes a system that allows avatars to uh, appear on the screen as part of the Wii Fit program and moves along the movement of participants standing on the balance control board with pressure, sensors admitted in turn. The Wii Balance Board gives not only various visual and auditory feedbacks on motion, but also vibrational reactions to various movements via the Wii Remote Control. An appropriate feedback is given to the user by the visual and auditory stimulation of the performance, and he or she can adjust the direction, angle, and speed of the movements 
through the interaction with the character on screen. To perform the Wii game in an appropriate response to the feedback, the user should have adequate control over judgment, reasoning, and problem-solving abilities. Participants in the experimental group exercised individually three times a week for 40 minutes at a time. They exercised a total of 120 minutes a week, becoming total 36 times along with a 12-week program. In each session, exercise took 30 minutes on a balance board using the Wii Fit Balance and 10 minutes on the Wii Sport game, golf or bowling. Computerized dynamic posturography used in this study is the Equitest, which has been commercially by National since 1986. This inspection device consists of a moving visual surround platform and computer device. The platform thread plate is allowed to move in the fore and after direction toe up and toe down direction, and the visual field is moved separately, causing confusion in the visual field of the subjects, or confusion in the perspective of the subjects by operating as if the trade were moving. Sensory composition test, sensory organization test of CDP selectively stimulates the physical sensation of the examinee. A combination of conditions giving confusion vision by means of operating and closing eyes, moving the foot rest, or moving the visual background, all consist of six tests. In the oblight position on the thread plate, each test shall be conducted three times. 20 seconds each time, and the average of them shall be obtained as an equilibrium score. The equilibrium score is calculated by setting error point for perturbation above the maximum limit of 12.5 degrees, which can be maintained around the ankle joint in the fore and aft direction and 100 points for the state of total equilibrium and no perturbation. Condition 1, 2, and 3 are examined under conditions such as when the eyes are opened or closed on a fixed thread plate, or when the background moves along a perturbation, causing confusion in vision. It tests whether normal vision is necessary to maintain the test subject balance and whether the brain can suppress inappropriate vision. Condition 4, 5, and 6 are addition of the condition of the foot plate moving according to the degree of agitation of the examinee to the above three conditions. 1, 2, 3. The somatic sensory ratio books looks at how much body movement increases when the help of vision disappears. The equilibrium score of condition 2 is divided by the equilibrium score of condition 1. The visual ratio indicates whether the vision Excluding physical sensation is effective if it is used to stand still. The equilibrium score of condition 4 is divided by the equilibrium score of condition 1. The vestibular ratio is to see if the vestibular function, excluding visual and physical senses, is normal. The equilibrium score of condition 5 is divided by the equilibrium score of condition 1. The visual preference is to see if the brain can suppress inaccurate visual information and keep the body in balance.
the values obtained by dividing the equilibrium point of condition 3 and the condition 6 by the equilibrium point of condition 2 and the condition 5. The experimental results were analyzed by SPSS. The significance of each experiment and control group before and after the experiment was tested using paired t-test. The general characteristics showed no significant difference between the VR gain group and the control group, indicating homogeneity. The homogeneity between the two groups were compared before and after participation in the program. There was no significant difference in gender, age, height, weight, duration of disease, or cognitive function was found between two groups. Comparing the difference in the change between the groups before and after the experiment, the experimental group's equilibrium scores increased significantly in the condition 5 and 6 compared to those of the control group. This is a sign that the experimental groups were standing well without losing balance despite the foot plate swinging back and forth. At the end of the experiment period, the <coughs> VST score in the experimental group was significantly improved than before the experiment. There was no significant groups in the SOM, VST, VEST, and the PREF of the control group after the end of the experiment. The amount of VST increase in the experimental group was significantly different than that of the control group. This shows that the experimental group's vestibular function, excluding visual and physical senses, is improved after the experiment. This result quantitatively proved that the we exercise program, a practical and simple virtual reality exercise program, has the effect of improving the vestibular function of the patient. This study demonstrated quantitatively that virtual reality exercise programs can have the effect of improving the balancing ability of lonely living elders who fall frequently. The improvement in condition 6 after treatment meant that the central nervous system of the experimental group improved the ability to select correct information from vision. The score of condition 6 increased because the Patients in the experimental group were trained with a game machine with rich visual feedback. As demonstrated in the improvement of the patient dynamic posturography test results in this study, physical activity through virtual reality using V can bring about an improvement in balance ability and can improve the quality of life. In conclusion, this study demonstrated quantitatively that virtual reality exercise program, like we program, can have the effect of improving the balance ability of all the people who live alone at the high risk of falls. The we program, which does not take up much space, is inexpensive, easy to move and install, can be widely applied to physical therapy. For elderly patients who live alone at high risk of falling in the future. The purpose of the study, aiming to quantitatively analyze the effect of virtual reality program made up of V on balance functions within them using the computerized dynamic posturography, was successfully met. Thank you very much for attending.